So I'm uh, in the beginning processes of troubleshooting some brakes on this uh, little feed trailer here. This uh, mobile feed bin. And uh, when I first took it up and I got it filled the other day, uh, my truck didn't recognize the brakes. But at one point there, I did... I hopped in and turned the truck on and it seen the brakes and I could adjust them again on the brakes and they seemed to work. Uh, I killed it at the feed store when it was getting filled, fired it back up and it didn't recognize the brakes. So that's what I'm working on right now and I thought I'd uh, bring you along, kind of see how I do some troubleshooting on these brakes and so we can figure out what's going on here. So what I've got here, I got my meter. Now, I'm not going to test any amperages and things right now. I'm just going to try to, uh, I'm going to use the ohm setting on my meter. Because I think I got a loose connection here somewhere. Now, if you look at this uh, connector here, I have figured out which ones they're using for break and ground. And this blue right here, which is usually standard. Uh, most of them use most of them typically typically do use blue for your your brake controller So I'm gonna hook that on there Make sure we're not touching ground trailer frame And this is my ground wire here I'll Take this alligator clip off So I'm on my ground and I'm on my brakes and I'm not getting anything um, now just to make sure I got a good ground here, I'm going to go to ground and then my trailer frame ground is actually, it's right here, there's a little stud here. It's got a little ring lug on it. So if I touch, yeah, get set back up here. So I'm going to go to ground. So if I, if I touch the stud back here, and I'm on my ground wire there, I've got zero ohms. I mean, that's that's a dead short. So I know my ground wire is good. Um, and my frame, frame ground should be good. I have to also test this. I don't really see any other bare spots. If you have some bare spots on your frame, uh, you can test it. So here, I'm on this chain. That's not really a good connection. It's kind of painted. This one looks like it's not painted. So I got I hooked up on my ground wire and I'm, I'm going on my chain. So I know my ground's good because I'm basically a dead short right there. That's zero to 0 0.1 ohms. And that shows that we have a connection. That's what you want to see. You can also set your meter on continuity mode and it'll give you a good beep when you have continuity. So we got continuity there. So we know our, we have a good connection, solid connection through this ground wire to the frame. And so let's go back here and look. Now I think my brakes, I might have to figure out where uh, the wire loom is going down here into the brakes. So I'm, I'm thinking they're probably uh, spliced right here and tied in. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this open, cut the tape off. They just have it tape, black taped up. And uh, I'm gonna pull that off and check these. I don't, it doesn't make sense to me that both brakes, I should be getting some kind of ohm reading, whether it's anywhere three to three to four ohm uh, range. I should be getting something even if uh, one of them's just showing up. Or you know, one of them's hooked up. So I don't know why both of these wouldn't be showing. So that's what I'm gonna check. Let me pull those wire looms off or get that disconnected and pull back and I'll, I'll be right back. All right, I got this uh, opened up here. Now there's only one wire in this wire loom coming from the brakes. So that tells me that they're grounding this down here somewhere. So I came down here and looked and uh, I don't know how well you can see this, but right in here is a ring lug for the ground and this thing is loose it's not tightened up at all 
So, I mean, I don't know who wired these trailers, but I don't know. Just, I feel like my 10 year old daughter could do a better job. This is the second set of these that I found on this trailer where the uh, ground wires wasn't actually tight to the ground. There wasn't a good ground connection. I don't know how they work so good for this loan because they have worked before. I guess the stars just aligned and they decided not to work. So there's that wire loom. So I will find a, uh, this is just a quarter inch bolt, quarter 20, I think. So I'll find a quarter 20 nut and put it up on there against that ring lug and that'll give me a good tight ground and then I'll come back and put this nylock uh, nut on just for this wire holder wire organizer and that should take care of these uh both sides are the same way you can see this one here a little bit better you can see the ring lug ring lug is right here for the ground and you can see how loose this connection is. It's crazy, blows my mind. But again, I found the found the same issue on my brake lights, or the tail lights. So I mean, at least it's an easy fix, and that should uh, should get me back up and going. I'll probably have to clean this area up a little bit just because it's so loose. It's gotten dirt and a little bit of rust and things in there, oxidation. So. So let me take care of all this and then I'll uh, come back and show you what my meter reads. I got a nut put on both sides of these i would have preferred to have um, a washer and then a lock washer and then the nut but i didn't have any washers and lock washers this uh size it's a quarter quarter inch bolt i just didn't have any or i couldn't find them anyway so uh this will be good enough for me to test it and uh i can come back later and throw on a washer and lock washer but let's run up here and see what our meter shows So put it on arms and that's with my leads together so I know that they're, they're good and let's go to the blue and 1.7 ohms so we're getting some ohms now that I connected those grounds good and I bet uh I bet you 100 bucks they'll work good now so that's probably definitely the issue I was having uh, <clears throat> Like I said, we're troubleshooting brakes and trailer wiring. Uh, it's usually something simple, the back connection. This is a, I mean, it's not brand new. This trailer's only a couple years old, so I would have, I would have imagined all the wiring should still be good on it, you know, for several more years. And it looks like they're doing a good job wiring it for the most part. But for whatever reason, on the brakes and the uh, my tail lights brake lights turn signals those grounds they didn't connect those tight they were just they were on the lug but there was no nut uh but the, the the nut wasn't tightened all the way down for that uh that ring lug to provide positive contact with the frame of the trailer and so that's the only two issues i've had with it so far but like i said that's sh i shouldn't have had that uh so yeah, just uh, 
just a little bit of a couple of tips there on using the meter and uh, you should be able to arm your brakes out and see you know i'm used to 10 10 000 pound axles uh, and those are usually i think three to four arms each but you get them connected all in parallel and you should be around what this one was reading one one and a half to two somewhere around there but uh so yeah i just wanted to uh bring you along show you that real quick uh always check your double check your connections i took this off all these were tied in here and so i knew when i wasn't getting a complete circuit that uh i had to have something loose but that could have mean that meant that my magnets were burnt out but this trailer's too new and i knew that that probably wasn't the case and once i got there got back there and found those ground lugs i knew that was a problem so anyhow uh thanks for coming along checking out the video check out some other stuff uh there'll be more god bless and we'll see you on the next one